Hello, my name is Christopher, and I will be showing you today how to install Home Assistant on Proxmox. And a little bit of backstory about the home automation that we're running in our house is we're running two Home Assistants. One's a master and one's a slave. That makes it to where we can extend the Z-Wave network and the Zigbee network down the basement. Um, makes it to where it works with just the master and all the devices from the slave share over to the master. And then you can control all the automations and the scripts and everything from the master and control the slave. Um, but this channel is going to be about uh, home automation, technology, uh, anything that we build ourselves, like our apps. And um, let's get to it. So now once you're in Proxmox, the admin panel, you're going to see your nodes once you add them here. And um, you're going to go to your node. You're going to go to shell. And then this is where you're going to type your command in. And then I'm going to go over to home, uh, Proxmox V helper scripts, which is, makes it really easy to install home system Proxmox. And then you're going to go to home assistant OS right here. And I'll copy this and you're going to go back into your shell. Make sure you're in your node and then you go to shell because you don't need to do this in a VM. And then now I'm going to paste that shell script in. Then I'm going to press enter or return. And we'll say yes. I'm going to go with the default settings. Retrieving the operating system. And it's extracting the disk image. It shouldn't take too long. And it also allocated cores to it. It allocated four gigabytes of RAM to it. So, and it installed 10.1. Of the supervisor operating system okay now you can see it over here it's starting up starting to boot up we can go over here and we can see once we get a green here we can go into console and you can see it's resizing the disk starting the job synchronizing the kernel it does a lot for you in that one script. Now it's waiting for the home system CLI to be ready. It's waiting for the supervisor to start up. Once the supervisor starts up, shouldn't take too long here. Okay, it's now started up and it's now allocated to DHP server, has allocated a new IP for it. So let's go over here and let's go to 192. Then we're going to do 123. Then you're now going to get this screen with preparing Home Assistant. This can take quite a bit, so I'm going to fast forward. Oh, it came up. Okay, now I'm going to just type in. Okay, now Big Bear, and then I'm going to just do a. Password. Now you create an account. And now you are going to change the different time zones and things like that. And then you're going to press next. Oops. Entry is United States and English. Time zone. And 
then press next. Then we're going to, it's going to ask you about analytics, usage, statistical data, and diagnostics. I'm going to press next. And it's going to see your, it's going to find all your devices. And you're going to press finish. And then now you can go over to the integrations. It'll start auto discovering things for you. And it also auto discovered the thread network that I have. It's going to, this is where your devices are. Once you add things like Z Wave devices, Zigbee devices, things like that. And these are your, your entities. Um, you have a sun entity, which you can do a lot of automations with that. See if you, it's below the horizon, above the horizon, uh, do certain automations. And when that happens, helper scripts are nice to where you can create a button. You can create a counter group. You can group lights together. Then you can expose that to like home kit or thing like that. And then you can create a timer, different things to help you actually create automations for this. Then you can go back to settings. And then this is where you create the automations. You can create new ones or you can find ones that are pre-made down here inside the community forms. And then you just create a trigger. Like I'm going to just create a trigger when it's when sunrise happens. And then you can say call a service or you can have a condition to where you don't want to make the automation run if there's a condition met or not met. Um, you can create areas. These you can create add-ons. It has an add-on store and um, for different things, ZWebJS, Whisper, DuckDNS, WireGuard, things like that. And then this actually installs Docker containers on top of Home Assistant. And then that's just about it. But this can really help you in starting your home automation and getting you, uh, getting your home all ready and connecting Z-Wave, Zigbee, Thread Network, which you can run on your home pop, home hubs like Apple TVs, Home Pods, uh -huh. things like that. So today I showed you how to set up Home Assistant on Proxmox. It's actually not too hard with the script uh, that, that that guy created in the open source community. So um, what's really behind home automation is the open source community. So uh, so it's really good that they actually create all this stuff and make it to where uh, they put their time into it. But uh, this makes it to where the home automation can be really done by more normal people that aren't programmers and stuff. But um, this, uh, but this channel is going to be more about technology, home automation, tutorials. I really like helping people. So I'm hoping that I can help people and get people started in technology and home automation and showing off the apps that we actually build um, to help our productivity in life. So, um, but home automation is really cool and it can really help you out in your home. You can start out with a motion sensor or a light or you can start with Philips Hue bulb and be able to make all kinds of lights go off red, blue, green. And if there's any type of status in your home that it, your door is unlocked or something and you want to make it to where there's lights goes off to let you know you can do that you can do a lot of things with it and i'll be showing you on the channel of all the automations that i've did, done to make it to where all the 800 plus devices really work together in making it towards productivity and making it toward things do things for you when you enter rooms and things like that so i'll see you on the next one bye bye